Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report, where we've got follow-up information about Net Promoter Score and its efficacy. And then, because it's the 15th anniversary of Toluna, we're going to have a conversation with its CEO about DIY. RBDR is sponsored today and this week by Socratic Technologies, whose proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexities so that you can make more confident business decisions. Sashin Recky, who just departed LinkedIn as its Director of Product Management, waxed approvingly of the assistance that's been provided by Net Promoter Score to him during his four years at LinkedIn. However, he also advised potential NPS users of three important limitations. First, NPS input should not be used to run a business day-to-day. -day. Why? Because of the infrequency of NPS results. Secondly, NPS is beset with a wavering margin of error that you can blame directly on the small sample size that is usually in play, and it can be immensely difficult to get a large enough sample. Third, don't be suckered into using NPS analysis as any kind of a replacement for your product strategy. Next, this past Monday, Toluna marked the business's 15th anniversary, so we thought it was apropos to discuss its current state and future prospects with CEO Frederick Charles Petit. And Petit directed us into a discussion of DIY, its vibrant role for Toluna in the past, now and in the future, and what it also has meant and will mean to its clients. As you will hear, he's clearly not speaking about the do-it-yourself research that we first all learned about five years ago or so. I do believe that DIY is the future of market research. It's a future that is happening now. It's a revolution that is happening now. And it's down to um, the acceleration of time frame um, in terms of expectation of the client to get the result and the consumer insight um, together with the scale that DIY gives us. It's not just an aspiration. It's something that is happening now. We're delivering a DIY market research to our client globally today. Um, one of our tools, uh, Toluna Quick Survey, delivers results in less than a few hours. But it's not just DIY data collection that I'm talking about. It's DIY generation of consumer insights. And I think that it's the, it's the combination of strong automation through technology with the access to people and the intelligence of the researcher embedded into the algorithm of the software. Mm -hmm. And I think that when you think about it this way, then you can understand that it can, it can completely revolutionize this industry. When I think of DIY, the first uh, perception I have of it is from something five years ago when it was really very much in its infancy. And most of the industry looked down on it as something that was less than useful uh, and maybe even an abomination for market research. How's it different today? It's a very good point because it's five years ago is where I and the company, we launched our major DIY initiative knowing it would take some time. I think this is a natural trend that when there is something new happening, then you look at it from the outskirts. Um, I think that now people, clients, constituencies, you know, market researcher, market research companies, consulting companies, you know, all the buyers of market research are very much intrigued, interested, trying it. They're trying it on a lower scale. But what we can see from our clients is that the scale is increasing, not just quarter on quarter, months on months, that there is a shift from things that were done the traditional way towards moving into DIY. Because one of the elements of DIY, it gives you almost real time. And I think that's something that is very much synchronized with the mindset of the buyer of market research right now. They want faster, cheaper, more efficient, you know, not just data collection, consumer insight generation. There is what we call DIY, do it yourself. And then on top of DIY, you can assist the client in the project. But what do it yourself gives you, it's the scalability, the scalability and the speed. And I think it's not DIY for DIY. I mean, I'm, I'm, we're, not, we're not dogmatic people. We're trying to, you know, um, uh, answer a major expectation from the industry, from the client, which is, can we do it faster? Can we do it simpler? 
can we get the result and the recommendation as fast as we have to take out the product out of the shelves if the, if the sales are going down? Mm -hmm. And six weeks is too long. And so this is, you know, some, some companies would do it completely themselves, whether it's, um, you know, um, you know, a, 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 you know, a DIY survey or a brand positioning survey to, to one of our modules. Some company would request assistance in the process. And I think we don't have to be dogmatic, but the, the large benefit of DIY is speed. And by that mean, by that I mean speed without absolutely no compromise on research quality. That's your research business daily report. And we've been sponsored by Socratic Technologies, whose proprietary tools and methodologies tackle marketing complexities so that you can make more confident business decisions. We encourage you to check out SoTech.com, a terrific company doing great work for almost two decades and a client list that would make your eyes pop. Have a great research day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.